So what if Muhammad was right? What if he was sent to correct the errors of time? What if he is the true prophet, the apostle of God? And that the words that he spoke and the example that he left and the Quran that Allah allegedly gave to and through him, what if it's all true? Well, if it's true, then our obligation to the Almighty would be to follow it, to believe it, to imitate Him, His example, to study His life and His words. He honored Jesus. He honored Mary. He did. He, he said that Jesus Christ would come back, Esau would come back to be the judge, the final judge. Muhammad said will be Christ, but he'll break the cross. He'll kill the pig. He's going to chastise Christians who made up these stories that Jesus said that he was the son of God. All right. So if Muhammad is right or was right, then our duty is to follow, to believe, to obey. Now, I started off this program discussing what we were talking about off the air, which is that most people just don't give a crap. And I'm talking about the elite. Excuse my language, but let's just be honest. The elite in the White House. I mean, do, do you really think that there's somebody in the State Department who's got the ear of the president who is saying, look, this is what Muhammad did. This is what Muhammad said. This is the example that he left. Yeah, those, those members of Islamic State are, are really doing their best to imitate Muhammad, to follow his example, to obey the words of the Quran, to establish Sharia law, Sharia law, whatever accent you want to put on it. Sorry, boss, this really is Islam. Do you really think that there are many people who have the ear of the president? Or do you think that there are many people in the editorial rooms of CBS, NBC, ABC, CNN, Fox, the New York Times, the Washington Post? Do you think that there are many people high up in the media food chain, the news food chain, that know what they're talking about? I don't. Well, Randall, what makes you so special? What makes you so smart? I'll tell you. I studied. I took the time when I was in my mid and late 40s, went back to school, went and got a second bachelor's degree from the State University of New York with an enormous focus on Islam, and then went to Norwich University and got a master's degree in diplomacy and international terrorism. And an enormous amount of my research, hundreds and hundreds of hours for my master's degree in international terrorism involved the study of Islam, historic, orthodox Islam. And I wasn't reading books that criticized Islam. Never have. I've never read a book that criticized Islam. I've only read books, in my study of Islam, only read books that were primary sources, things written by devout Muslims, because I thought, well, I want to know what they believe. I don't want to know what someone says they believe. I want to hear it from their own lips. I want to read it in their own words. So you ask, Randall, what makes you so special? I'm not special. I just chose to use my time to understand and to study their mission, their words, what they believe. When I come back, I'm going to read a quick letter and I'm going to put this to you. What does this mean for you? Don't go away. I have been a leader in the pro-life movement for 30 years. And sadly, we have not prevailed in our goal to make it a criminal act to kill an unborn baby. There's reasons why we have failed. I wrote this book, a humble plea, to Catholic bishops, to evangelical clergy, and to lay people explaining where we went wrong and what we have to do to prevail. 
We've made this available as a PDF online for free. I encourage you to go and download your own copy. Why does a nice guy like me keep getting thrown in jail? I have been arrested almost 50 times and spent over a year of my life locked up in various prison facilities. And I wrote a book, many books. In fact, one of them is called, Why Does a Nice Guy Like Me Keep Getting Thrown in Jail? It's a theological work, answering those who say that the church should not be involved in politics or that we should retreat. I encourage you to get it. In fact, get one and give it to your pastor.